You see how low the Loyal Hannah is today? This is one of the rare opportunities you get to actually see some of the things that are here. And, uh, it's a hot one. Now this is, this is a nice flat rock. Um, great spot, great spot to fish, great spot to swim even. You're inclined to it. You see, there's a nice pool of water right here by me. And I'm a fishing rod, but I don't think I'm going to do much fishing. Such a nice spot. This is all flat rock down below here. You can see how it, it's like an area where it, it uh, eases into this. Nice smooth area. Got a mosquito that wants to be my friend here. And I don't want to make friends with mosquitoes. They're not they're not good friends, I'm telling you. They're not the kind of friends you want to make. <laughs> These rocks are very slippery right here because usually the amount of water going over them is is pretty intense and uh, it makes them like just like a sheet of glass so trying to do this while holding my fishing pole a little difficult still it's, it's this is kind of a cool little area there's places up on the mountain where there's these uh places like blue hole where there's waterfalls and real deep gouges cut into the stream where you literally cannot stand up on the rock it's that smooth this though, like a flat layer of sandstone. You think about the stream here, being here for millions of years, cutting this huge gorge that I can show you better right there, right through the mountain, right through the center of it. And uh, it, it uh, cut through all of this, you know, all these all these little rocks, all these ones you see in the sides, you climb up the side, you see it rounded. It's, it's what you did. There's really not a more beautiful area to be in right here. There's really not. <laughs> You always have to be careful where you step when you go from one rock to the other. That's a good way to fall on your katukas. When you fall on your katukas, you know, that's not good. <laughs> this is kind of neat. It's a built-in step. Just step right up on it. Get out of this water a little bit. You see pieces of this rock are just shattered and broken off. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful stream. Now this area down here is going to be better for fishing. There's a rope. Big, big chunk of rope here. Someone did something with a rope. Imagine it was a swing at one time. Someone had to swing, dive out in here. I'm going to step off on this rock here again got these rubberized shoes they do help a lot but uh when something's slippery it's slippery you know there's no two ways about it the story of the stream even now very hard to navigate very steep sides yeah but we'll do it i wanted to see if there's any fish in this other area up here
Watch out for spider webs. Watch out for snakes. Watch out for all those things you don't want to meet. Now I tried, I tried using these shoes to walk out on a tree last year and I fell right in the water. <laughs> and the reason that happened was I was like, am I getting that old that I can't maneuver like that? And it wasn't the case. What it wound up being was these shoes are kind of like, in a lot of ways, like uh, Crocs. And they give too much on each side when you walk, so when you have, when you have a grip, your bottom of your foot will remain with the grip to the rock or whatever you're walking on, but um, the uh, the actual traction to the uh, foot as you're wearing it is, gets a little wider and it stretches. So really, what it does is just slings you off on it. Just walked a little bit further. This is flattens out again. You get this flat rock. And this, this rock here always intrigued me as a child, this one here. It's usually way out in the water. It's a very deep hole under it. That's what I wanted to look at. I wanted to see if there's any fish in here. Looking at it now, I guess I could just easily walk right across there. It's like uh, not that deep right there, I guess. This to me always picked out to me as a spot to be great for camping uh, when it's low like this. Uh, you can fish. I'll show you why. There's a couple of nice trees you can hang your hammock on. It's flattened out. And not by accident. I think that other people have had that idea before me. What you have here is kind of cool, even if you had a tent. There's a lot of sand. If you think about this sand, it goes back to when this was these rocks are part of the ocean and it became sandstone and now it's deteriorated. And now you're back to feeling like you're at the beach again. <laughs> I'll do a part two of this, uh, maybe down further, show you a little bit of the history of the area. Show you an old bridge. Sounds pretty cool about the history of the Ligonier Railroad. I uh, won't go into a lot of history, but you'll get to see it. You'll get to get the experience of it, and I think that's kind of cool.